Okay. Uh, I will build or I will read. Um, I, but I need to have somebody else to do the other thing for me. I'm, I'm always up for reading. Okay, let's do that. I one shall build and one shall read. Everyone's still up? That's perfect. Wait, what about those two blocks? <laughs> do we oh. need those? <laughs> um, yes. Okay, let's get those back. Uh, Can you get those back? Holy crap, I'm glad. Uh, I see two of them here. They're not on the floor anymore. Than they're they're right. not on the floor. Oh, okay, good. Yes, because when Corey brought in the bar, she would have noticed that they were there. She knew they weren't there. Uh, Paul. Yes. Do I have control over the uh, over the chat monitor size, type size, on directly from the iPad, or do I have to do it like from? Uh, no, you can do it on the iPad. Okay. Cool. Um, I think you can just like. Can you just uh, so there, there's a the button in the like the bottom right hand corner? Yep, there we go. And I see settings. Uh, there should be a font size number. Font size number. Ooh, that's color. see it. That is okay. It's like near the top of the settings? Yeah, no, I just see style and Twitch and chat behavior, and that's okay. We're, Wait, um, we can adjust the chat's behavior from yeah. the tablet? <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> the trick is actually learning how to shut the thing when it's... When you um, it. What about, isn't there, doesn't the Safari under iOS have an actual just like font size? It has a reader mode that you can set where you can adjust font size. Uh, I don't know if that'll actually let you change the font uh, size. Yeah, reader mode. It's okay. I, I will. Is <laughs> reader mode, will, will reader mode actually just like block it? Yeah. Yeah, reader mode is probably not a good idea. Yeah. So I won't do that. It's okay. Uh, gee, if somebody can grab this for a second, I think I, I, know, I know where the font size thing is. Here, one sec. All right, who wants banana? I will have a uh, slice, please. Right. Does anybody like heel slices of banana bread especially? I will take it. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, somebody just oh, grab this oh, for a second. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to build it. Oh, I will do it. I'll have my Oh, no, I meant for me oh, personally. You can get weird if yeah, you want. Fair, or whatever. Yeah. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, if I can ask engineering to uh, put up a 25 minute timer, and, uh, and I can start building right now. Right. All right, we are on step 60. You are going to need four total pieces. Okay. You will need, uh, everything is teal. Uh, two aggressive teal arches uh, with two steps. Okay. Uh, so as you hold them on your side, you should see three distinct points. So they'll have three pops underneath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just real aggressive boys. Yes. All right, you need two of those. Just arches, yes. Just arches. Great, have this. Yes. Perfect. Uh, now you need two aggressive quarter arches. Oh. Two? Two of them, please. I believe I have these. All right, awesome. That's good. So, oh. hello. All right. So the sub assembly that you should be working with should hopefully have uh, two green plates in the center yes. and one side that's kind of curved over. Yes. All right. Please put the curved side to the north. Yes. All right. So we're going to start by placing those two aggressive uh, half circles or quarter circles. And you are going to pop them on the top, uh, on the northmost east and west corners so that you're continuing that kind of curve that you've got going on. Yes. All right, cool. So now you're going to take your two aggressive arches and you should have two pips above the little grabby hand on the north uh, or on the east and west side. So you should have yes. Okay. So those two pips are going to remain uncovered 
and you are going to take your two uh, half arches and put them so that they are arcing down uh, on the east and the west, leaving one more uncovered pip on the uh, on that strip on either side. One more uh, open pip on the uh, east and west going down. Yes. Okay. So, just in order, on that uh, one by five plate that's on either side, it you should have one pip covered by your uh, quarter circle, two uncovered pips, one pip covered by your half arch, and then one uncovered pip. Yes. Excellent. All right. Step 61. You are going to need two aggressive half arches. And then two aggressive quarter circles. All right. So, uh, on the uh, east and west corner, you are going to place your quarter circles. So continuing that curve from the aggressive arches that you just placed. I've done this. Perfect. All right. Now, facing uh, on just on the south side, you are going to place your uh, half arches right next to it. We're just continuing that nice smooth line. I have done this. Step 62. You are going to need five total pieces. You are going to need three two by four teal plates. I have these. Awesome. Now you are going to need two one by two teal plates that have little binoculars on the sides. I have them. Perfect. All right, so you are going to orient your teal plate, uh, your two by fours vertically, and you're going to start by putting one right smack dab in the center of your green square, leaving the southmost row uncovered. So right on top of that green square, it should be uh, four pips total wide. Uh, no, no, you're doing fine. It's okay. your fault. All right. Um, let me know when you're ready for me to carry on. Repeat the step. Sure. Yep. So, your uh, green square. Green square. Mm -hmm. Four uh, should be four by five wide. So you are going to start by placing one of your two by four uh, teal plates vertically mm -hmm. so that it is butting up against the northmost edge of your green square. Yes. Leaving uh, two pips to the south uncovered. Of just of the green square. Yes. All right. So now you're going to take your other uh, two, uh, two by four plates and put them vertically right next to the one that you just placed. You'll have a one pip overhang of teal on either edge. Ah, I've done this. Perfect. Okay, now you are going to take your little binocular buddies. Yes. And put them directly to the south of the bricks that you just placed, forming a nice line with the binoculars pointing to the south. I've done this. Perfect. Step 63. Yay. All right. You are going to need two pieces, two two by three teal plates. Bust up. Hey! Hey! Awesome. I have these. Perfect. Okay. You are going to put them on top of your 2x4 plates directly to the north of those 1x2 binocular buddies. So you start with the line of four pips formed by your binocular buddies. Yes. You're just going to put those 2x3s two uh, two directly to the north of them. I've done this. All right. Then we are on to step 64. This is going great. You are going to need three total pieces. Okay. 
You are going to need a one by two teal plate. I have this. You are going to need a little half arch that's pretty darn flat. It's just got a small step up and it looks to be a two by two in size as you are looking down on it. I have this. Perfect. All right, so you are going to be building in the center of the pieces that you've been placing. You should have built a, a little step up that is four by three. So four wide. Yes, I see what you're saying. Okay, yes. all right. So we are going to start by placing one of your half arches so that it is covering up the center two pips of your little binocular buddies and the center two pips, uh, center two southernmost pips of your little two by threes. I've done this. All right, now you're going to place your little one by two plate horizontally directly to the north of that. When I'm doing that, I've done it. And you're going to continue that little arch with your remaining arch pieces or with your remaining arch piece. So you're building a little ramp that has the uh, two pips. I've done this. All right. 65. 65. You are going to need six total pieces. Okay. You are going to need two one by two in size small ramp buddies. I have these. Now you are going to need four quarter circles that arc up just a little bit. I have these. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. We are going to be building around the little ramp that you just built. Okay. We are gonna be starting with one of your quarter circles. Yes. You are going to cover up the three southwest most pips with your little quarter circle. Yes. Now you're going to place one of your half arches horizontally right next to it, slightly to the north. I've done this. And now you are going to take another one of your quarter circles and just keep it rolling. I have done this. All right. I am doing the next one. I am doing the next one. I have placed all of my pieces. Perfect. Happy little oval. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Step 66. Yeah. So huh. Heavy. Okay. So you should have a sub-assembly that looks vaguely like it has an anti-aircraft gun in the to the north that is green. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Please take the sub-assembly that you just built and put it on top like a hat. <laughs> put the hat on the anti-aircraft gun. Yes! Um, it should pop together. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. The anti-aircraft gun has a hat. We're all very happy. Please set it aside. Yes. All right. Step 67. I you gave you. it a gun and then abandoned it? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Right? <laughs> Please. Zia, do not take this gun and go out into the woods and learn to use it and turn it against mankind. Anyway, go ahead. Please get uh, three total pieces for this step. You are going to need a two by four green plate. I have it. You are going to need two two by four teal bricks. I have them. Excellent. Please orient one of your teal bricks vertically. Yes. All right. Please orient your other two pieces horizontally. Yes. Please place your green tile on top of the brick covering the south uh, four pips with a eastward overhang. So you're going to have two pips connected to the, or four pips connected, and then four pips just kind of hanging off the edge. Okay. All right. Please place the teal brick directly to the north still with the overhang going to the east. So you are popping the teal brick right on top of your uh, 
vertical teal brick. Repeat the step. Sure. So you have one vertically oriented teal brick. Yes. With a horizontal green plate that is connected to the four southernmost pips and the overhang of the green plate is facing the east. Yes. Covering up the four northernmost pips on that base block, you are now going to put the teal brick right on top of it, horizontally, again with the overhang pointed to the east. I've done this. Perfect. All right, step 68. Huh. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you are going to need six total pieces. You are going to need one two by four flat plate that looks like it has uh, two little splotches on it. Yes. You are going to need a two by four teal plate that looks like standard issue. Yes. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right. Huh, okay. So now you are going to need four uh, teal half arches. However, each one has part of a green splotch on it. It does not have the full green splotch. I have them. Perfect. Okay. So. Dual color pieces. Mm -hmm. If you line up the teal half arches horizontal or vertically you should be able to arrange them in a way that forms your mega splotch yes i've done this <laughs> all right please attach Four mega splotch <laughs> please attach them to your two by four plate so that the step down is what is attached to your plate and the step up that appears to be directly under the splotch mm -hmm. is not attached to anything. I have done this. All right. Please attach that teal plate and your four little half arches to the assembly that you just made with the three pieces. You're going to be attaching this assembly to the green step. I have done this. All right. The, the teal plate is what attaches to the green uh, plate. Sorry, repeat. So the teal plate that all of your little half arches are attached to? Yes. That is what attaches to your green plate. So you're gonna get some pretty aggressive overhang on that teal brick, but it shouldn't actually attach. I have done this. Oh, wait. No, sorry, Mega Blocks was being weird. Okay. Um, yeah, so you are putting the top step of those half arches on your green brick. So you're forming a fat, flat plane with your bottom teal brick. My apologies. Form a flat plane with your bottom. Oh, dear. I'm sorry I've made your life harder. That's okay. <laughs> If somehow Ashley is watching, your banana bread is delicious. And also very, very thick. I think I need to get these two pieces apart, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, try going the opposite direction with your block tool. Oh, wait, I got him. Holy crap, that worked. I built a lot of Lego at home. Yeah. Right, let me reassemble my piece. I built a lot of Lego, and I've put a lot of uh, dumb mistakes building Lego. All right, repeat the step for me, please. All right, so where are we repeating from? Um, I'll just 
Uh, yeah. So take your half arches yes. and arrange them so that you form the mega splotch. Yes. Then attach the bottom step of those to the two by four tail plate. So that you are forming one, you are essentially holding them together with that teal plate. Uh, yes. Okay. Now attach the top step of that half arch. Yes. To the green plate that you've placed in the previous step. I've done this. All right. Now take your flat plate with the little uh, splotchy boys. Yes. And pop that on top of that teal brick. Orientation matter? Uh, orientation should be horizontal. Or do you mean orientation of the splotches? Yes. Go with your heart. I've gone with my heart. Perfect. Your heart was wrong. Oh, uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> All right. Step 69, nice. Nice. All right. Please take the assembly that you just put together and hold it up on its end. So it should be vertical with the splotches facing you. Okay. And it should be with the plate with the two little splotches against the tabletop. Yes. All right, so, but it's gonna be standing up. Yes. All right, please take your sub-assembly with the wee little aircraft, uh, anti-aircraft gun. Yes. Anti-aircraft gun facing away from you. Yes. Please plop on the little assembly, just shove it right in between those two uh, quarter circles that you placed earlier. Ah, yes. All right, that was step 69. Nice. Oh. You, when you filled in that, that gap, I expected it to be like, chunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> 1.27 Renkin, not good, not terrible. All right, step 70, you're going to need eight total pieces. Yes. These are going to be fun to describe. I can't wait. All right, so you are going to need three, or you're going to need two two by, or one by three bricks. Hui. I have them. Perfect. Hmm. Okay. Now you are going to need six total half arches. Each should have a bit of white, red. That is the only bricks left. <laughs> All right. So what you are going to do is you are essentially going to be forming a little triangle piece, a uh, triangle marking with each of your white and reds. So it'll have the red marking in the white triangle. Okay. Ooh, this is getting complicated. I have done this. Perfect. So when those are together, it's like steak. Yes. You should be orienting them horizontally. All right. I've done this. Perfect. Now you're going to be using the one by three bricks to hold them together. So that it should have a step up on each one when you orient them horizontally. Yes. You're going to place that one by three brick as close to the step as possible. So you have a little, like a little overhang. Yes. Okay. So, now please set them on their side so that the triangles are pointing up. Sure. And you want the triangles pointed towards you. I have done this. Excellent. So, the way that you're going to have them is you should have, uh, both triangles should have like a little black line. Oh, they do. On the side of it? Yes. Okay. So, you want to have them arranged so that when they are on the side, so you're going to turn them on their side mm -hmm. so that the triangle is up and facing you. Yes. And you want to have it so that the one with the little line 
that is uh, on the east is going to be, you're going to have that in your left hand. Yep. You're going to have the one that has the little line on the west. Hold that in your right hand. Yes. Please take your assembly that we've been working on. Yes. And you are going to, there should be little holes on either side of the side that's facing you. Yes. You're going to pop those bad boys in. I have done this. Perfect. All right. Step, uh, the next step is to admire your creation. I am definitely yeah. doing that. Excellent. You have added missile batteries to the edgy aircraft gun. Step 71. Please crack open bags five and six. Oh! New bags. New bags. Who dis? Five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? All right, what do I need? Uh, you are going to need... Two one by two teal plates with pips on the top. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't have any more teal blocks. Mm -hmm. Two one by two teal plates, hollow pips top and bottom. Have uh, both of these, yes. Uh, two teal plates, uh, one by twos with a little knobby coming off of it. I have these. You're going to need two one by two teal bricks. <laughs> I have these. You're going to need four half arches in teal. Uh, these guys are pretty aggressive, and they look like the, if you top down, um, hmm, uh, two by three in size. Oh, wow. I have these. Perfect. All right, we're going to be making some sandwiches. Yay. All right, so Yay. you are going to start by orienting uh, all of these pieces, uh, all of the one by twos vertically. Yes. All right, so please take your one by two with the hollow pips on either side. Yes. Uh, on top, you are going to take your little uh, one by two with the ball Put that right on top, pointing west, or pointing east. I've done this. All right. Now on the underneath, you're going to take one of your one by two plates, pop it on the bottom. I am doing it. I've done it. All right. On top of your little knobby boy, you are going to place your one by two brick. Yes, I've done this. All right. Please make that again. All right, the timer has run out, so we'll f finish this. Uh, this step. This step, and then. Sounds good. It's a very exciting step when you finish it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um, that does that, and then this does this. Yes. Excellent. So now you are going to take those quarter arches. Yes. You are going to put one on top of your assembly so that uh, you are putting that brick into the top step and you've got a pretty good little overhang? Yes. Please take another one of your quarter arches, put it underneath so that it is mirroring that. Oh, yes, I have done that. Do that again. Same, a uh, different verse, same as the first. I've done this. All right, so. Please take those balls yes. and put them into the little grabby hands on either side of the sub-assembly we've been working on. I have done this. Wonderful. That was step 71. And that is the end of that step. It feels pretty good. Ooh. Opened up a giant box. That is okay. Uh, thank you, Matthews. That, I think, went very well. Yeah. Folks in... Uh Folks in chat were very impressed that you seem to be, you were operating like a uh, well-oiled machine. <laughs> uh, or at least a reasonably well-lubricated sub-assembly. To one mind with two bodies <laughs> that 
as a s slightly complicated communication system. I like to think of it as, uh, we'll throw those in with the other ones, I guess, too. Oh, so I, think, uh, I just, uh, why not? Case crap, that's my fault. I gotta go into the engineering area. Somebody else throws it away, I'm okay, but I'm gonna hold on to it. That's true. On Loading Ready Live, we did do Lego as a well oiled machine one time. It did not go well. Kind of gross. It was really, really gross, actually. We had like a bucket of oily Lego for the longest time afterwards too. Oh yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs>